Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Samantha and today with the launch of my new blog I'm coming at you with a haul video. Some of the products have been featured in my first post on the blog So go ahead and check it out and the other things are secret. You're gonna have to stay and watch <laughs> about one of the like most excited I'm so excited I don't I'm just like where is it so one of the first things I want to talk about is by far the winner of the year I know it's only like q3 of the year but let me tell you that this is blown my mind only because I've been on a search for vegan and cruelty free lotions both for my face and for my body for ever and once I found this brand I mean I was done this is the Sealy Naturals Lavender Shea Body Butter. And let me tell you that the littlest bit goes the longest way. But the thing I like about it is that not only does it soak into your skin, but it keeps your um, body nice and smooth. And yeah, I know this is a haul video, but you guys, I got this a while ago. Like, I mean months ago. And look, can you see how much I have left? Like, I have a whole tub left. So I think this is gonna go a long way. Um, if you're looking for an awesome VCF body lotion, definitely try the Asili Naturals Lavender Shea Body Butter. They also have a coconut one that is also great and I think it's going to be perfect in the winter because it has little granules that might be crushed almonds. I'm not quite sure but once you like rub it onto your skin, they just disappear. I don't know where they go but it like exfoliates your skin and makes it soft almost instantly so go get yourself some. So since I use this one mainly to moisturize my hands and my feet right before I go to bed because it is so moisturizing, I wanted something just a little different. I like change, a girl needs change. I wanted something just a little different for after I shower. So believe it or not, Soap & Glory, a lot of their products are vegan and cruelty free. Not all of them because they said they can't verify all of the ingredients in their products. But this one, the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk smells de freaking vine. If you like the smell of like maple or like sugar cookies, it's that kind of smell and oh my god. And once I put it on after I get out of the shower, I just feel like a million bucks. Okay, so let's stay with that like body lotion theme. Um, this I found on a whim. I got this from um, TJ Maxx for $5.99 and it is MD Measurable Difference Rose Hip Oil. It was only $5.99 and look how much oil you get. Now I'm like usually pretty skeptical of buying things at TJ Maxx for my body, but I've been wanting rose hip oil for a long time because A, it's Adriana Lima's secret to looking and staying young, so I'm like, uh, hell yeah. And B, I just know that rose hip oil has a lot of benefits and it is by far the best lotion I've used. Um, yeah, you guys, okay, I bought these like a while ago. This is like a huge haul from a lot of like over months, so you can see I've already used quite a bit of it, but it does have like little rose buds in it. It smells awesome, but the thing that I love about it is I hate having like an oily layer on my skin and this sinks right in and almost like prepares your skin for extra moisture. So I put on the oil and then right after I shower, I put on um, the Soap and, Soap and Glory lotion. So um, go to TJ Maxx because they have like a bunch of types of oils and the rosehip oil was few and far between, so definitely go to your local TJ Maxx. Okay, so speaking of really good scented things, um, it's that time of year where like I have so much to do that a girl just needs her beauty sleep, okay? So I thought I would try, and I'm kind of wary of these two, but this is a Nature Love Aromatherapy Pillow Mist in Lavender Vanilla, and it does smell actually really good. Ooh, did y'all see that? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, but it does smell really good, and I don't know if it helps put me to sleep, but it smells good. Also, I got that at TJ Maxx for $3.99. Okay, let's move on to like makeup stuff. So I went and got a haircut, and the stylist said my hair was really healthy, but super like dead and dry at the end. She was like, make sure you use uh, heat protective. And I just always forget, so I put this guy on my counter so I remember. It is the Garnier Fruity Style Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist. So I'm pretty excited to keep using that. It does smell good and I don't know if it's helping, but I guess it's better than not having a protectant. Okay, another makeup thing that I was pretty excited about trying is that from Pacifica. If you don't know, Pacifica is 100% cruelty free and vegan products, makeup products, um, beauty, skincare, whatever, you know. Um, and I wanted to try their one of their mascaras and this is the 
Pacifica Natural Beauty Dream Big Mascara, and I mean, come on, the packaging is just so cute. Anyways, I'm excited to try this because I have been wanting to try a VCF mascara. To be honest, I haven't heard the best reviews, so if you know of a VCF mascara that is supposed to be like, oh my god, then please leave it in the comments below because your girl has been searching high and low. Okay, now some fashion things. This, not everybody may like. This is for... I think it's for select few people, but I've been wanting this ever since Stella McCartney put out this design. I was like, yes, honey. And I've been wanting them ever since, but I was not about to drop six or seven hundred dollars on these because I thought they might be a little too trendy, so I was just gonna wait like a few years. And lo and behold, is, are these the, not the ugliest shoes you've ever seen or what? To me, they're like absolutely gorgeous. But I got these, and no, they are not Stella McCartney. They are from Massimo. They're actually from Target. And I bought them for $13.98. So I saved about $700. And if you are into fall decor, then go to your Target dollar spot because they're selling these cute, like pretty high quality, like suede pumpkins. So I'm just going to use these as little decorations. Now I don't really like to buy fall decor because I hate having clutter around the house, but I figured these little ones, like it wouldn't hurt to just have just these few just plopped somewhere. I don't even know what I'm saying, but they're cute. Go get yourself some. Okay, I also got, I'm really excited for this because if you guys don't know the benefits of dry brushing, look it up because it's good for you. I got this one. It's the face and body brushes. Um, it's from Minamol. Let me show you what comes with it. Woo! Cool because it includes a cognac sponge, a little brush, it includes a big brush with the paddle, and then a big body like sponge. So I'm excited to give this this dry brush a shot because the one I have now I picked up at TJ Maxx and it's like it's like pretty okay quality, but this I mean look at this packaging, gorgeous. It's just Mm. And going back to fashion, I got this adorable top. Um, I was actually looking for something really similar to this, but they're all really expensive or on Amazon, and I didn't want to buy it on um, um, online. And I went to TJ Maxx at night and I was like, hmm, maybe there's something there. Believe it or not, those two exact same tops were there. One is this blue picnic table checkered top. I can't really show you what it looks like here, so I'll insert a picture of what it looks like on. Um, it's really like, it has the puffy sleeves, it's totally on trend. I'm all about the puffy sleeves always, whether it's on trend or not, because your girl wants to feel like a princess. Okay, and then go keep it on with the, um, uh, what do you call it, the picnic table theme. I also got this similar type of shirt. With it's black and white and also has the puffy sleeves and it's a cold shoulder. I think it's really cute. It's semi-appropriate for work, but I don't care because your girl's gonna wear it. And last but not least, we got the Apple TV 4K and it's actually really good. If you guys are thinking about getting this, um, maybe it's a nice investment if you watch a lot of Netflix and you know spend time on the couch on a Friday. Another really exciting purchase I got you guys is this beautiful blush pink tote bag. It's from Overbrook. You can find more information about it on my blog. Now I was looking for an alternative to my Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. Now while I do love this bag, I just feel guilty carrying it around as somebody who wants to go totally vegan. I just, I don't know, I feel guilty carrying around a bag that's made of leather and costs so much and is probably not the best thing for the world, so um, I decided, okay, it's just time to put this guy aside and look for something else to totally replace it and love just as much. And let me tell you that I love this bag. If you want to give it a try and if you're thinking of transitioning into a vegan lifestyle, I definitely suggest picking up that bag. I got it on Amazon and it was like 35 bucks, if that. So give it a shot. So anyways, you guys, that is my haul for the past several months and I actually am collecting more things. So believe it or not, there will be another haul coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can join our little family here. And be sure to follow my blog to get more detailed information about um, all of what's happening at Samantha Ari. So thank you so much and stay tuned for more.